Hello beautiful souls out there. My name is Elizabeth Diamond and welcome to my channel. If you've seen my videos before on my channel, uh, you probably know that I was talking a little bit about myself, introducing myself. And also in another video I was talking about my organite that I create myself. It's organite jewelry that I make of pendants, rings, earrings, bracelets. So you can check it out. But uh, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, my favorite book of all times. Uh, if you saw my videos before, you probably saw some videos that I made in Russian language and you were like, what is she talking about in that language? So I was uh, talking about my favorite book uh, that was written by Daniel Andreev, which uh, I think uh, here in English speaking world, uh, that book isn't really as known as I wish it would be because for me, that book is like spirituality 101. It was uh, the base of my like spiritual views uh, because it talks about religion, about culture, about uh, like you know all like these things that supposed to be laying at the base of uh, I think every uh, spiritual grown person. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about that and let's get started. Daniel Andreev was arrested during Stalin's persecutions and sent to a labor camp in 1947. While he was in prison, he managed to write and to conceal the road of the world. His work, which was kept hidden from the Soviet Union secret police for like 20 years and could not be published until 1989. Andreev was a great Russian mystic and philosopher. In his book, he examined existing world religions and also suggested that a far greater and all-embracing church must arise, the rose of the world. For Daniel Andreev, the rose of the world is a spiritual flower whose roots are in heaven. Each petal is a unique image of the great world religions and cultures, and the whole flower is their joint co-creation with God. It offers a prophetic call for the spiritual reunification for all people an open and harmonious relationship amongst all the world religions. It really resonates with me and I think that all religions and beliefs have all grown themselves as systems and the new concept is emerging because of the spiritual growth and the rise of the vibration all around the planet. We all are ready for unity, for oneness and that's the main concept of the Andreas book as well as the description of other realms uh, he had seen in his visions. The author describes many things that will surely seem like a fantasy to some unprepared readers. Spiritual beings of all sorts, other worlds, other planes of existence, angel demons. And the author has no way of backing up his claims, because he is simply telling you what he had experienced. Some readers will probably uh, have no trouble believing him, because they had had such experiences and it will resonate uh, with them. To me, his work greatly resembles Divine Comedy and uh, Blake's ideas. Now, uh, what I think I like the most about the book is, uh, first of all, an amazing description of Hell and Heaven, which Andreev got in some kind of astral trips. Then, um, the role and the functions of the rose of the world as a global ethical and spiritual leader of the world, which is beyond politics and economics. Then uh, missions and outstanding analysis of Russian poets and writers, actually the best analysis I have ever read. Also meta-historical analysis of Russian and world history from a spiritual perspective. And of course, um, last thing, that authors insights into higher spiritual feelings like oneness with the whole universe and other souls. Read this book, it can change the way you think about spirituality. If there is a part of your heart which has been waiting for a grown-up spirituality, wait no longer. I urge you to check out that book and if you like my video, please subscribe with your thumbs up and also Always remember that you are light, you are the love, and you are the creators of your reality, your power. Your power is inside of you, so don't let any routine circumstances or obstacles to uh, let you down. Always just, you know, think that you are not this body, you are not this hands, you are not this head, and 
you are the power inside of you you are the energy when you know about that when you think about that you will see your day will just go like that it's gonna go beautiful because you are the energy of love you are light so much love and light to you guys i hope i'll see you very soon i'll try to make other videos soon about uh, some other books that i was talking about i just want to go by one at a time because it's kind of difficult for my english <laughs> you know to put uh, this difficult concepts all together like this book could be very difficult for those who uh, you know not familiar with uh, cultural stuff or religions for people who like easy read books you know this book is not very easily read but it's a special book because it's uh, you're gonna eat it re easily when you get into it you know when you get a spark inside of your mind you're like okay it resonates with me um, like it was with me so I hope you enjoy it have a beautiful day everybody it's not